Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, my channel 2.0. I am here again to be talking about my life in Japan, uh, surviving in Japan, uh, my life with photography in Japan, uh, analog photography. A new element is um, typewriters. Yeah, that is the topic for today, in fact, is um, why I think film camera shooters should try out manual typewriters. First, I just want to give a quick shout out to Dan Milner, and I'm going to put a link down to his uh, YouTube channel. And he's the guy who kind of got me into typewriters in the first place. This guy, he was or is a photographer based in New Mexico in the States. And it was sometime last year, 2020, uh, the pandemic was going on. You know, I just had no energy to, to shoot, to do anything with the camera. Even now, um, I would say that my motivation level really hasn't returned to normal. And he mentioned in one of his videos that he is a voracious writer. He writes every day, journals, and whatever else he writes. I've got, I'm stuck at home. I've got really nothing to do. I don't feel like uh, going out. Why not write? However, for me, my handwriting is terrible. I can't even read my own handwriting. So I think it was July of 2020. I picked up my first typewriter, which was an Olivetti Valentine. Beautiful design. I love it. Um, I still use it. Um, and I tried it out and it just went out of control from there. Um, I was just typing a lot more journals, uh, descriptions for my photos. Um, yeah, and since then, I've collected about 20 plus typewriters. Anyway, let's get to it. Why? Why film camera users um, should try out mechanical typewriters, manual typewriters. The first is that the mechanical nature of cameras and typewriters. Um, yeah, they're like springs, things to rewind. Um, there's no, nothing to plug in. There's no electric, no electricity needed. Um, no software, no menus to deal with. For cameras, it's just straight up, put the camera, uh, put the film inside, shoot. And with typewriters, it says, put the paper in, gather your ideas and start to type, yeah? So, uh, and that whole process of actually putting in the paper, aligning it, adjusting it, um, this, again, the, this tactile experience, I, I think um, those who are into analog cameras, uh, that whole process, I think, you'd get into uh, typewriters as well. Now, the second point why I think film camera users should try out typewriters is the slow process. With film, again, loading the film, um, you're only allowed a certain amount per roll. Uh, so you really got to focus on what you're shooting, checking the exposure. Same thing with a typewriter. There's no delete function. There's no spell checker, no grammar checker. You have to really gather your thoughts and kind of know what you want to put down on paper. Because if you're typing away and you make that mistake, you can't do the copy paste, you can't delete. Um, so it kind of forces you to really uh, hone in on your ideas. Sure, I could do that on a computer. And then there are these 
things, these distractions coming up. Um, so when I type, I usually just put my phone away um, so I don't see the screen with whatever notifications popping up. Now, the only difference between film cameras and typewriters is that the product, with film cameras, you have to process the film, dry it, scan or print it, etc. However, with a typewriter, bam, boom, the results are right there. Yes, it is slow, but at the same time for typewriters, you get the product right there, okay? And the third point why I think film camera shooters should try out typewriters is that the results you get, um, the slight imperfections that might come about. Um, with film, you've got maybe processing issues about the chemicals. You've got light leaks. You've got scratches, dust to work with. And as for typewriters, uh, the things that you type, it's not exactly the same as every piece of paper because it really depends on how hard you strike the keys. And also at times you make these little mistakes or uh, when one finger, one, your, when your finger hits two keys uh, or you accidentally hit the space bar or there's an issue with the, the, the typewriter itself. Maybe it adds a kind of like a, an added space. There's an unevenness to, to this. Um, personally, I love this. Um, I like this raw quality. You know, though they have those filters where you, you can emulate for, for digital photos or video footage, you can emulate film by adding scratches and the jittery of the, 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 the frames. Um, I, I don't like that. Um, I think it's so phony. I think if you want that look, why don't you just shoot it that way? Um, and I don't know if there are any applications or ways where you could manipulate a, something on Microsoft Word or uh, key, uh, Pages for Apple. I don't know if there's anything that would where you could type and it would simulate an error. Um, and even if there were, it's just so fake. Um, why do it in the first place? Why, why try to, why aim for that? Um, whereas with a typewriter, it just happens naturally. Um, it's real, it's pure. Um, and that's what I get a kick out of. Um, and same thing with shooting with film is these imperfections are inherent in the whole um, medium. I think there's this kind of misconception or perhaps even like a stereotype that people who shoot with film or who like analog uh, photography dislike uh, digital photography. For me, that's not the case. I also enjoy uh, shooting in digital. I'm sure those people exist. That's them. Um, and I have no qualms with them. Um, and it's, it's, for me, it's not a debate. Uh, it's a non-issue. So I hope this video was useful um, for those in the analog community. Um, there's a kind of marriage or a kind of a collaboration um, that kind of support for each other. Um, so try it out. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Paul again. Uh, thanks again for watching that video. And just a quick uh, announcement for any people who are interested in photography and uh, typewriters, please check out uh, this new project called Delete None. Okay, that's... Uh, and you can find more information uh, at the link below or at 120love.me forward slash delete none. Uh, pretty exciting, so check it out. Thanks. Bye.